Hello, so um, when we did melody, um, we didn't really talk about motif, so that's what we're going to go into today. Um, it's kind of a rhythmic concept that's very good for melody. Um, so let, let's have a listen to something and then I'll kind of explain what's going on. Okay, so we're going to be interested in this melody line and exactly what is motif. Okay, so if we go back to this this site musictheory.com, uh, I just found it. I'm not, I'm not. I think it's fine. Um, I, I, it's just very useful for one to show you. So um, th there's this idea of motif, which is a rhythmic, um, a little kind of rhythmic uh, sequence that gets repeated all the way through a piece. And a very famous piece was uh, Beethoven's Fifth, still is. And if you listen. Okay, just just those kind of three little, four little notes together, and you instantly know that you're listening to Beethoven's Fifth. And um, this this kind of pattern, the three Gs and the E flat, is the the motif that Beethoven uses like, time and time again throughout the piece, and and he uses it in very sophisticated ways. Um, so sometimes you know he's changing the notes. Sometimes the rhythm's not exactly the same. He's preserving the kind of the proportion of the the the, the time between the notes, but the actual timing is different um, for the four notes together. Um, we're not going to go. We're not going to get that complex. All we're going to do is kind of create a motif for ourselves, and then we're going to use that to build our melody. Okay. And this site's got a couple of examples. Uh, we'll, I'll play you one of them, um, and you can see, for example, the saying, "This is your motif." This kind of dotted note followed by three quavers so and then that but that kind of whole phrase the notes may change they don't have to but that they may change and then uh, that that kind of you know adds interest to your melody so that there's your kind of sorry that there's your first phrase it gets repeated there the composer in this next bar then uses a different length of notes you can see these are different that's not dotted um, I'm not really going to try and teach you kind of uh, um, well, one because I'm next an expert myself, but I'm not going to try and teach you to read scores and things. Um, but a dotted note means just to play that note in at half again. So that's a full beat, and and it's asking you to play half again. So it's kind of um, three three quarter notes, no three half notes. Um, but that that that's a complexity that when you're making EDM, you don't need to know about. Okay, so there, there's your there's your motif gets repeated there. It's changed there, so a different rhythm. But then he comes back to his motif and he uses it again and again, um, and then he changes it, and then the motif finally comes, makes a return in this. Okay, so let's just have a listen. It's it's classical and it's um, so it's it's not EDM, but the 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 idea is a very useful one. And just in this very simple way, we'll we'll kind of learn what what it's doing. Okay, and there's another example here. Um, I won't play it. You can go in and uh, check the site out if you're interested. Um, but you can see that group of notes there. Then the, the rhythm for those notes is repeat, repeated in other locations. So you can see it repeated there. And you can see it repeated down here as well. And throughout the piece. Okay, So we're going to use this exact same concept to build our, um, build our melody. And what I'll do is let's just duplicate that track, make a copy, and I'm going to take this melody down to just one bar. And I'm going to re remove all the revisions that I made to the notes in this one bar. Okay. 
So literally what I do, when I do it anyway, is I put my sequencer into loop and then I kind of get a kick drum going. I've got to mute the other part. Okay, so basically what I'm doing there is, um, the, the, I mean, you can use like your pencil tool in whatever door you're using. Um, but it's so simple that I just like to kind of bash it in. I just like to kind of uh, just take one finger and and just play different rhythms. And and Logic's got this really nice thing called Capture Record. And I'm sure kind of all the other doors do as well. Um, but when once you've got Capture Record in, play, so I click on play, I can play hundreds of loops and and play in different rhythms. And then what it'll do is it'll kind of allow me to kind of flick through all of those. I'll show you how that works in a second, but. Um, so th this is my rhythm. Okay, and when I'm happy with the rhythm that I've got, what I do is on in Logic, you just do the um, Command R, repeat it over three bars, click on OK. And what I've got now is a four bar loop um, with the same motate motif um, kind of repeated escape six gives me my glue tool and now i've got the whole thing kind of repeated across okay so i've got four bars of the same motif now so let's just do one more duplicate track and i'll show you this capture recording just just very briefly i'll put my microphone on mute so um it's not kind of really noisy when i play the keyboard Okay, and you'll see now, um, it looks like nothing's recorded, but if you, you click on Capture Record there, what it's going to do is wherever my, there you go. What it's done is it's given me all my sequences that I just played in, and I can then go through and listen th to the different ones again. Okay, so I like that one. Um, so once you've found the one that you, you like, you just flatten it. Um, and then I already had the 16B swing applied. Um, so just to give it a little bit of variance. Okay, so that that's now uh, right for turning into a melody. So. Uh, the applar again, repeat it over three bars, then go back and then escape six, gives me my glue tool, um, and now I've got the capacity to write a melody with this um, across the four bars. And so I'm going to take that into a uh, kind of a four bar loop. We'll go back to what I call chord, um, but it's look no hands, and we'll go and find the notes of the scale. So um, I'm in the F minor scale, so it would be F. Aeolian. Some of this is new to you. I've covered this kind of uh, the, the look no hands in previous videos, so you can go back to that. And in my F minor scale, I can see the notes are F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat. So, so th those notes, depending on what chord I'm going to play underneath it, but those notes should sound good um, for w when I want to kind of change my melody. And if we just go back over an original concept we did a few weeks ago, which was skips and steps, or even it might even be months ago now. So the, the, the step is when I just go say F, G, G, A flat, B flat. Okay, so that, that, that gives me a nice kind of smooth flowing melody and, 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 and um, kind of steps are really good. Uh, but they can also turn the, the, the listeners, send them, send them off to sleep. 
So what, what you need to do to keep them awake and sort of keep them alive is uh, to to turn throw in your odd step uh, skip. Sorry. So I might go F G A B B flat E up to the E to give me a nice step. Okay, so you can mix up your skips and steps in order to get kind of this this nice, um, you, you know, a, a flowing melody, but one that doesn't send your your listener to sleep. Hopefully. Okay, um, I'm going to try and do this live. It may be disaster because normally you do this over a little bit of period of time, and you, you know you'd, you'd really finesse it. But let's just kind of throw in a few different uh, notes into here. So. Okay, so I'm going to start off with something nice and sort of still fairly flowing. Um, so I've brought in the G. Oops, I've not brought in the G. I've brought in the F sharp. Okay, so I've brought in the G, which we know. The G there, which we know is compliant with the scale. Brought in the A flat, which is just a semitone up. Again, is compliant. And you can see we've got a nice kind of smooth flow here and then maybe just go back down the way we came. So, okay, and actually I quite like that melody, so I'm gonna repeat it again. Oops, well, I didn't wanna do that. So we'll get rid of that whole lot there, and I'm just gonna copy all those notes. Apple C, oh no, actually. So in this case, I'm going to use that same melody, well, same part of the melody, and and you can see we're preserving the motif. So the the, the kind of rhythm is the same, um, but I'm going to I'm repeating it now. Yeah, and then uh, this is where my new motif starts on bar bar seven bar seven here. So. Again, we'll go fairly safe, so some uh, skips. Yep. Sorry, some steps, some very kind of, you know, very close to the, the, the previous note. Okay, and then um, we're going to add in, I don't actually like that last bit of melody, but um, to keep this video a reasonable kind of a, a sort of time frame, we'll, we'll keep it. Um, I can go off and edit it later. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw in some, uh, a couple of, um, couple of steps and then skip right up to the E flat. Um, Okay, so um, basically what we've done there is, I'll play it back to you in a second, but we've we preserved our motif across the four bars, so it's repeated. Um, we've gone in and we've used some kind of uh, steps, so nice kind of stepwise movement to make it really, um, you know, flow in. And then finally what we've done is towards the end, uh, to get the, the listener waking up again, we've added in, we've added in kind of a, a skip there. Okay, so not <laughs> that was not the world's greatest melody, um, but hopefully it gives you an idea of the techniques. But especially if you're not kind of comfortable playing, um, you can actually go in and use your piano roll and start building melodies. And of course, you'd, you'd have to build do do this in in conjunction with your chords as well. So um, you either build now the chords around this and make sure the chords that you're playing behind it comply with the melody, or you build a chord sequence, which we'll do later and you make sure the the melody notes are compliant with with the chords that you're playing so it's uh it's it's either way whichever kind of way of working works best for you 
Um, but using that technique effectively, I, I came up with this, this melody we had a little bit earlier. Okay, and that's the idea of motif. So um, go across to the site and maybe check it out and, and, and use uh, use some of those ideas in your own music, especially if you're doing sort of very sort of melody-led music. Okay, um, probably the next one will be uh, the circle of fifths, and then the one after that will be um, uh, I guess we'll get onto chords then. Uh, the last thing, uh, one of my subscribers or one of the guys uh, kind of commenting on the channel uh, mentioned this guy Mike Monday. Um, he's, he's kind of a, a producer or he was a producer who now does more kind of coaching and he's got a very good um, website. Um, so if you Google Mike Monday uh, and then go through kind of some of his courses, uh, it's not really about music. It's more about the way you approach music and the way you kind of work. Um, and you've got some really good stuff there. Um, so uh, it, it kind of helps. It's, it's all about kind of concentration and focus, um, about, you know, completing music, completing it music faster. And not really about, you know, put this compressor here or, or, you know, use this EQ setting or use this reverb. It's very much about the process. Uh, the, the guy that does coaching as well and kind of uh, led, uh, kind of led sessions. Um, obviously, those are paid for, but the course is free. And uh, it, uh, yeah, I'm trying out some of the techniques, and 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 uh, I, I'm I'm not kind of too far in at the moment, so I can't really comment as to you know whether they're great or not. Um, but they, they seem very interesting ideas. So if you're kind of struggling more with the kind of you know you're happy with your production, but you're more struggling with the way you approach it. I think these are some good ideas around simplicity and making your workspace kind of very clear and, and exercises are not directly related to music, but about kind of uh, building focus, um, which, you know, if, you, if you've if got a very short attention span and um, these ex exercises kind of build like focus and, and, and it, it should kind of then kind of spread out into the rest of areas of your life, including writing music. So uh, Google Mike Monday, I'll put the link at the bottom of the video, in fact, um, and, and that's just if you want kind of some support around the way you approach your music production. So I like to share kind of other things that, you know, I use um, and, and that's one of them. Brilliant. Okay. Um, I'll get on with the other videos soon. Cheers.